I think we're live. If we're live, guys, say in the chat, we are live. What's up? What's up? What's up? Are you ready to cook some spam fried rice or what? Because I am ready. I am very hungry <laughs> right now. How's that? Hey Lisa, guys. what spam did you use today? Uh, I've got the less sodium one. <laughs> Me too. Did you 25% really? less. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. awesome. Alrighty, guys, since you guys are in the chat, we're going to get started with this. Um, I am very excited to introduce my friend Julius. He is an amazing content, food content creator, um, and he's going to show me how to make spam fried rice. So Julius, I'm going to hand it over to you. Who are you? What do you do? And how do we get started with this? All right. What's up, everyone? My name is Julius. I'm a photographer, food content creator, food blogger. I started my uh, Julius account back in 2010 and uh, my YouTube channel is almost as old, but I'm really ramping up the uh, videos this year. So thank you guys for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first we're gonna go ahead and cut the spam, garlic and the onions. So okay, garlic let's first. Let's go ahead and, what's that? Did you say garlic first? Yeah, let's do some garlic. I already okay. have some. I got the pre-peeled garlic. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. chat, if you guys have any questions for us, let us know. We'll answer it while I take my sweet time peeling this garlic. Yeah. Everyone likes spam. Mm. That is true. Hi yeah. from Brazil. What's up? What's up? Yeah, so, so basically you... we're just going to chop the uh, garlic and like, small pieces it doesn't have to be okay. perfect it can be bite size everyone you know cuts I, I saw you and janelle cut your garlic so I, I i saw she was trying to teach you the smash method yeah she was it is a it's an effective method so it is my camera's being weird give me a sec yeah all right so guys i'm just uh chopping up the garlic so, uh, Julius, how did you get into to food content creation? So, I started doing photography back in 2005. And um, it was in the motorsports. And I was always the guy who, like, always, like, found all the restaurants. So, I was like, you know what? When that market tanked in 2008, I was like, I'm going to shoot food and travel. And then that's how I got into it. I started a food blog and I just wanted to basically share all the places I ate when I traveled as a photographer. Nice. And that's how pretty much how I got into it. And then I started a food blog just to kind of share my portfolio. And it turned into like um, food news. I used to travel for food festivals. And then I started working with chefs, restaurants, and food trucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I've actually gotten to meet a lot of my culinary idols um, through through the food scene, um, through food events that came through Florida, through Who's Orlando, Miami. I met um, like Anthony Bourdain. I met Thomas Keller, Daniel Ballou, a lot of like you know famous chefs, and then I started taking photos for events. I went to like South Beach Food and Wine, took pictures of like Morimoto, Chef Morimoto. Oh, um, snap. Gary. Yeah, so I have pictures um, on my Instagram with, uh, if you look up hashtag Julius and Chefs, you'll actually see a lot of the sh chefs, celebrity chefs I've worked with and, and take photos. Um, and on my YouTube channel, I actually have interviews with like Andrew Zimmer, Andrew Zimmer uh, from Miami. And we actually talk at uh, a Disney event and we talk about Filipino food and this is pre like the big boom of like and he he predicted it he's like I think Filipino food is going to have its moment and it was really cool that it did or and it's having it you know the moment right now how was so. that how how was that getting to talk to him he's one of my um, idols as well yeah he's really <laughs> chill and actually the um the food market that I did a photo shoot today He's a partner in it, so he he visits the food hall um, uh, frequently, 
Um, I've missed him the last tw two times he's been in town. But uh, yeah, he's really chill. Um, nice. If you get him talking about something he, you, uh, that he likes, like I was like, I asked him about Filipino food, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I make a really good dinaguan, and he loves punse and all this other stuff." So it was really cool to, you know. And I was like, you know, the first episode I saw you was on Bizarre Food Phil Bizarre Food Philippines, and he was like, "That was a very long time ago," and I think that I could redo that episode, and I'm much better now. So he even admits. That was, uh, you know, that was one, his very first episode or one of his first episodes that he could probably, you know, do a better job covering the Philippines. Uh, what was the bizarre food he had from the Philippines? So there's stuff that I never even had before. Like he had grub worms. Like they opened up this like tree branch and I was like, dude, I've never seen that. <laughs> and by the way, I I said like, let's how much garlic I think. I said... Uh, five plus, and I'm doing ten. So oh, throw okay. in as much garlic as you guys like. So I just I, I got five, so I'll stick okay. to that. Okay, cool. Hello to both of you from Atlanta. Whoa, from Atlanta. That's interesting. Who's there in Atlanta? That's funny. Uh, that's where Julius is from. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta right now, guys. So. New Zealand, what's up? Hi, you guys. Hi, Giselle. How are you? Hi from Guyana. That is awesome. Uh, I am here today with Julius. He showed me how to make spam fried rice. I'm so excited. Yep. Lisa's rocking the apron. I am not <laughs> rocking the apron because I had to represent my shirt. So my logo. So yeah, I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, which apron do you have on today? Uh, the one I always wear. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Whoa, that we got cute. Japan in the house and India, Australia. How are you guys? Wisconsin. Uh, is it kimchi spam fried rice? No, but you can top it with spam. I had a feeling that Lisa was going to do that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. I actually, um, there was a pop-up with a local Korean um, like food vendor. Mm -hmm. So I did buy some kimchi the other day just to uh you know add some extra toppings but pretty much what inspired me to do fried rice is like in college i would basically um saute like onion onion onions garlic uh which is onions <laughs> and then i would just do a chicken stir fry and i would literally do a chicken fried rice um and Every then day. i was like you know what i could just do this spam so any type of protein if you guys don't have spam or eat spam, uh, this can, you know, basically be the same uh, process. And it could be rotisserie chicken. It could be anything. Uh, Julius, how did you get into cooking? This is from Hyper Kiwi. How did you get into cooking? Yeah. So actually, what I just mentioned in college, I basically had two roommates and, uh, and they were, um, both of them uh, were female and they were, we used to go grocery shopping together and we basically would cook for each other. So being around a house, household with um, my mom cooking all the time uh, is one of those things that I always you know, wanted to do and I really didn't cook until I went to college. So it's kind of like I taught myself how to cook. To get so by. it's kind of like Filipino with Southern flair. But it was funny because my roommate, one of them, she was uh, Italian, so she would like she like her dad cooked very well, and then my mm -hmm. other roommate was Southern, so it's like we had this kind of like hodgepodge of like, you know, kind of Asian food with Southern and Italian. Are we? Di you, are Lisa? we? Um, the pandemic got me into it. It's funny when you say that you learned how to cook in college because. I was lucky. I lived with my parents, and so I just ate. They cooked every day still when I was in college. Yeah, I hear you. And I ate a lot in college because I played soccer. So I was any – I joke about it all the time. But anytime someone saw me on campus, I always had some type of food in my hand because I was eating all the time. Just because we're burning so many calories from being an athlete. But, and you play, uh, like, soccer, like part of a collegiate soccer? Yes. So yeah, we're wow. training a lot. Um, but yeah, I just started, I started cooking because of the pandemic. It forced me to, um, yeah. sorry, are we chopping? How are we doing this? 
Uh, basically, like dicing onions because we're gonna dicing, do it with saute. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the you know I was shooting restaurant videos and I wasn't able to do that anymore. Um, sorry, I don't remember how to die. Um, and so I started making instant ramen at home, and obviously, that's not the best thing to eat. And then I started cooking all the stuff, and now you guys are all watching me. What's up, Isabella? If you guys have any questions for me or for Julius, let me know in the comments section or in the chat, and we will answer them if we see them. What is your favorite fried rice, Julius? Uh, my favorite fried rice that that I cook or I don't or someone else cook. <laughs> just to eat your favorite one to eat. Yeah, if it's if it's in general, we're like you know what, let's just do spam fried rice or just egg fried rice. So this is one of my favorites, one of my easy, you know, go-to meals. It's like a, you know, spam is like a pantry staple. So yes, I always have a can of spam. Uh, we always have eggs in the fridge. So eggs, spam. We always have rice. So yes, spam. I I felt like so. There's this one time I posted a video quite a while ago. I was like, I always have spam in the pantry, and people were like, "What?" I'm like, what? You guys don't? Yeah. You know, it's funny. We you had just mentioned that because growing up, I always ate rice, and when I moved to college. My cut, my uh, roommates were like, "You eat rice every day." I'm like, "Yeah, you don't." They're like, "No." I'm like, yes. "Wait, what?" Yeah. So every freaking things. day. Yeah. And um, you know, the first time I actually had Vietnamese food was in college too. Um, I went to this like college picnic, and we were playing football outside and basketball. And this guy named Lim was like, yo, I just, I, I work for this restaurant. Do you guys want to try my food? And uh, I think he did like summer rolls and then maybe some noodles, some like the um, uh, thumb thumb or something like that with the rice and the, and the, um, the meat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that was my first time having uh, Vietnamese food. It was in college too. Um, nice. Mainly grew up with like Filipino food, Chinese food. And then, like, southern food from church. Do we need one whole onion? We don't, that? but okay. it just depends on how much rice, you, like, and how big your pan is. Okay. Because I, I said think one I small onion. Whole... Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to do a whole onion. I mean, this is kind of like like freestyle, free flow. Like, like if you want more onions, add more onions. If you okay. want to clean out your pantry, you know, yeah, you have a lot of onions. So, you're, I think you're good. Cool. Oh wow, you finally chopped your garlic. Mine was definitely <laughs> raw chop. Oh. It, no, you're yeah. good. Okay. You're good. It doesn't matter, right? Freestyling. Nope. Nope. Doesn't doesn't matter at all. Uh you know, actually yours looks like pretty much uniform. Mine look like this too. The idea is to cut it so they uh cook at the same pace. At the same pace. Okay, so now that we have the onions and garlic, uh we're gonna cut up the spam. Okay, let me try okay. not to cry, but I think I need to cut that? my onion. I'm going to try not to cry. Oh, yeah. But I need to cut up my onion a little bit smaller, yeah. finer, I think. Oh, Lisa, someone just commented about your uh, your hair. It looks great. <laughs> I just noticed Thanks. it. Thank you, thank you. It's a Is filter. Your... What's that? It's a filter. Is it? <laughs> I guess you'll just have to see in person. So I'm meeting Julius in, um, I always forget. It's the end of September, right? End of, no, well, no, end of August. End, end of August, August. Of okay. Yes, both times. So we're gonna meet up and do some foodie stuff together. So I'm so excited to do that. Yeah. Um, also, Janelle, we have um, the green onions. And did you, did you cut the whites into there too? Uh, so I am using green onions that I have in the fridge. Uh -huh. So I'm just getting rid of these. So I have some whites, but just barely. But I need to get rid of them. So. Okay, cool. I was gonna say you can always cut those into the actual. Um, you know, if you want to use those whites, you can use there as well. Okay. Are you finally chopping the green onions, or just kind of like? Uh, 
Yeah, just this is for topping and tossing it at the end. So okay. really up to you. I'm not really like this recipe is kind of one of these that where it's like it's just for a garnish. And this is for home cooking, guys. Like we can get fancy and, and cooking, but this is just for for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food? Uh, I'd have to say Japanese food. Ooh, um, yeah. Just like everything from like, uh, like I love Japanese curry, curry. So it's funny. I'm like stopping myself from uh, from talking because I hear the echo. So sorry about that, guys. No worries. I don't know how you do it. It's hard to talk when you hear your no. echo. <laughs> no, no. Okay. It, we don't need all five. I said five just because some people like extra green onions. So it's really up to you guys. And you said the white part was used for the sauteing part or the... Yeah, if you want to. It's just a, it's just a way to use your ingredients. Okay. Like a lot of times I might have like leftover steak or leftover pork chops. I will basically just cut it all up. I will saute the onions and garlic, saute the meat, throw in the rice, and then uh, throw in the egg, and you just basically combine everything. So this is just basically a way to either clear out your leftovers or clear out your pantry. Um, you pretty much can fry rice anything. I did wait. I did make one make wait wait. Excuse me. I did make one <laughs> fried rice fail, and that was How, because what did, you, what did you do? So we were trying to use a uh, leftover poke bowl. And it had like seaweed salad. So as soon as I sauteed that and threw in the rice and tasted it, that slimy like like um, seaweed salad took over the entire thing. So yeah, don't put seaweed right. salad. That you, that you learned your lesson from that. Yeah, totally. Okay. okay. Are we doing with? Okay. Oh, you're already on the spam. Yes, I just opened it. it smells delicious. Freaking love spam. Jaden, <laughs> so my cat, I don't know if you can hear meowing, but he heard the spam. He Every every time he hears me like open a can, he's like, I'm here. Oh, really? He thinks it's cat food, yeah. That's, oh. <laughs> Let me see some fire emojis if you guys love spam. <laughs> I want to see some fire emojis. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, Julius and Lisa, what's your favorite band? Mm, I don't have a favorite band, but I've been listening to the Lumineers a lot lately. I always listen to them when I'm in a weird mood, I think. To who? To the Lumineers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm into really 90s hip, hip hop. So that's what I mainly listen to. So those are like the, the, the bands, music genre that I like. But I do like like 90s alternative rock too. So, nice. yeah. Um, how big are you cutting these? You're just cutting just into like them into bite, cubes? Ice cubes. Okay. Here, let me cut one and then. Are you using the, here. are you using the whole can by the way? Um, I will because I just like eating spam. Okay. I'm down with that. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to eat it all, but I'll give it to my neighbors. <laughs> yeah. When I said two cups or three cups, I'm like, oh, that's a, like a lot. Yeah. So. Glad you texted yeah. me that. Yeah. Oh, I love seeing all these fire emojis. Yeah, Thank there's a lot. A lot of people like spam. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, so Lisa, mine is basically just like bite size. I don't know if you can see that, but got it. Yeah, I think I think I can accomplish that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, favorite thing to cook, you know, if I actually take the time to cook Filipino food, I like to cook this dish called curry curry, and it's basically oxtail that's been mm. braised for hours, and it's in like a roasted peanut sauce. Um, so yeah, I like to cook curry curry. Um, 
I love oxtail. Oh my gosh, oxtail so good. Uh, Jamaican oxtail. Have you had it? I have not. Oh my gosh. It's, um, if you see a Jamaican restaurant, it's one of the staple. So you might be able to find it if you have a Jamaican restaurant or when you travel. Yeah, I definitely will look for that. Um, I've seen it on a lot of menus. I don't have any Jamaican restaurants. Well, oh. yeah, I don't have any in my city, so. Okay. Well, you should uh, consider coming to Atlanta too because there's <laughs> lots of good food here and there's definitely oxtail. There is quite a bit of uh, Szechuan restaurants. So if you are into spicy Szechuan food. Are, hey, are you into spicy food? Me? Yeah. Yes, I am totally into spicy food. Um, if you guys notice, I've been releasing some videos lately. I have a, a Nashville hot chicken um, video. And um, I'm actually going to release a series because I get these comments and DMs about how to build your spice tolerance. So that's one of the uh, series I'm going to have coming up. So basically, I already have a spice tolerance, but I want to help like the audience and help people, everyone out there, figure out which ramen they can try and like build up to different levels. Yeah, I always get questions from people like, how do I start it? And I'm always like, I, just, I don't know. So I'm glad you're starting this series so I can just be like, watch his videos. He'll let you know. Yeah. If you guys are interested in building your spice tolerance, drop those fire emojis again. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't drop the drop the fire emojis, but subscribe to Julius's channel as well. Oh, thank you. Just type in Julius. Yeah. So if you guys were wondering, my name is Julius and the blog is called Julius Food Photos and now videos that make you drool. Yes, love seeing all these fire emojis. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> if this is making you drool, drop those drool emojis. <laughs> I want to try to get you to, can we, can you guys help me get Julius to a thousand subscribers by the end of this stream? Oh, thank you so can much. That'd be awesome. Can we do that? Yes. Just because Julius is an awesome guy. Thank you. Lisa. The Lisa Army has been showing up the last few days. Thank you guys so much. Yes, it looks Giselle, Yati, Taija, uh, that boy, J Ross, just talk. Sorry if I mispronounce you, but I love seeing the drool emojis. <laughs> cool. Okay, what's next? We've got we've got garlic, onion, spam, green onions. Are we ready yeah. to start cooking? I think we're ready to start cooking. Did you, uh, you have your rice? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Rice cooked last night, put it in the fridge. So I tried to make warm fried rice the other day and it just didn't turn out as good. So just a quick tip for you guys. If you guys have leftover rice, uh, I think that makes the best spam. Uh, best fried rice, sorry. All right, are we switching camera angles here? Um, For the pan? I'm Ooh, someone same. got a walk. Uh, it's kind of sort of one, but yeah, I don't You're know how I You're gonna have more room for the fried rice, so that's cool. Alrighty, what heat should we have this on? So I would start off in a medium heat. Medium heat, okay. Medium, medium high. So that way it actually, um, you know, comes to temperature a little bit faster. I know for a walk, you want to have it like, like super high, um, heat, but I don't have one of those walk burners. What time is it for you guys? Cause it's 1 23 AM. <laughs> what time is, where are you at for 1 23? For me, it is 7 24 PM. And then for me, it's 8 25 p.m. here in Atlanta. So Lisa, with this step, it's really up to you want to put extra oil. I put just a touch, 
to get the uh, um, the sizzle going. But pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to take the spam and basically brown up all the sides, and we're going to take it out, throw in the onions and the garlic. So that's okay. the process. So yeah. And I like to use extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just okay. going to put a little, little drizzle on the pan. And I don't know about you, but I can pretty much just drink extra virgin olive oil if it's good quality. So what is good quality? I need to know what that is. I just buy whatever's so, at the store. Yeah. Usually you want to get something that's like single region. Um, but sometimes we just go to Costco and then you get like something from Greece or some Italy or from Spain. We usually go with the Italian olive oil. Nice. Yeah. What's up chat in India? 5.55 AM now. Oh my gosh. That's so early. Scotland. Nice. You know, it's, it's funny when I, I watch you on your lives, Lisa, and you're like, hold on, guys, I got to take out the dog. And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> gosh, you're risotto. <laughs> I know. People are so concerned when I let Cooper out. I was like, would I rather have a dog pee in the house? or? That's true. But luckily, it turned out okay. So. Yeah. Um, Lisa, have you considered getting, like, one of those stovetop induction burners or anything like that? Or the flame ones? Like a gas stove? Gas or one of those tabletops that have the induction burner, like the magnet, or it's just something where it's like- Oh yeah, I, yeah, I have the, yeah, I have the gas one, but- Oh, do you? Um, yeah, maybe. Might be some changes coming up, so- Nice. Yeah. Since you've been cooking, what what's like your favorite right now to cook? Steak. Steak, nice. All the way. I always like awesome. it because steak is always, I always, um, I don't know. It's kind of a hit and miss sometimes. And each steak is yeah. always different, you know, the size of it and the type of What's your of favorite steak? steak? Your favorite cut? Um, right now, it's the Casey strip steak. It used to be mm -hmm. ribeye, but sometimes ribeye is just too fatty. Oh, I love a good fatty steak. <laughs> That's like my favorite. See my cat. Come, come. You want some attention? Oh, this is not even on the thing, guys. Did I move that? My bad. What's that? My thing was off center. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think it's hot. Yeah. What, what do you? Yeah, what did you? Medium, medium high. I just, I just start putting it on there and turn and burn. Okay. What's the first thing we're adding? Spam. Spam. And you actually want to get a plate so you can pull the spam back out. So when you saute the onions and garlic, the, the spam won't burn. Can you guys hear the sizzle sizzle? I don't know why I'm unable to make decisions right now, but here we go. Hey guys. Jaden, this is not the time, boy. Uh, do I prefer sweet or spicy food? I prefer spicy food first and then finishing with a sweet. Lisa does rock. Hey guys, can you guys can you guys check Julius's subscriber count for me right now? Can you guys let yeah, me know what's up? Can you drop the number in there? Cause <laughs> I want the I want the Lisa Army to be on this journey with me. Yes. Do you, can you guys like drop the number? <laughs> what's your uh, preference of choice to stir your your cooking? Like whatever you're cooking in your nonstick or what? Uh, it depends. Wooden spoon most of the time or spatula. Whatever's clean, to be honest. Yeah. Whatever's not in the dishwasher. I hear you. 
Yeah, mine is usually wooden spoon, but I've been using this like wooden spatula lately. So nice. awesome, guys. 954. Are you really? Let's go. Yeah. My gosh, Lisa, you, the oh, Lisa you Army. Wait, I don't know. You call it Lisa <laughs> Army? What do you call it? Team Lisa? What do you call it? What do you call your 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 audience? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I call I it the called, Lisa Army. So I call them awesome. That's what I say. Yeah, Let's, you guys are I, that's awesome. awesome. Nine seventy-two, man, you guys are killing it. <laughs> I don't know. What should I do when we hit a thousand? Uh, I, I think do I you, think I owe you, Lisa. Do you dance? Uh, you should do dance. Do I dance? Yeah. Um. You, oh man, I guess I could. <laughs> do you dance, Lisa? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I nice. definitely do enjoy going to the club and going dancing. So, well, there you go. Okay, you gotta dance. I gotta dance. Yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Let's get up to a thousand so we can dance. Okay. So, what are we looking for on the spam? Just yeah. So basically, like... you just want to brown up the spam. Okay. Um, and you basically just want like nice crispy edges, something that you want to bite into. And we're gonna basically take it off the heat, put it in a separate bowl, and then we're gonna re-add it like at the end. Julius, where are you from? Where am I from? Well, I was born in LA, but I grew up in Florida. And if you're asking me about my, my family's background, my parents are from the Philippines. <laughs> so many answers to one question. Yeah, There's I know, because so people are like, no, where are you really from? Or this Where are you so. really from? Yeah, I get it. You know, so I was he, born in the U.S., so what's up? But you do a lot of restaurant videos um, in Atlanta, Florida. Yeah. Basically, I do um, restaurant and travel coverage. So if you guys will subscribe, you're going to see a lot of subs. my food and travel. <laughs> what do I, what do I dance like, like, like this? Yeah, I, don't, I need some yeah, that's music. Good, that's good. Right, I mean, yeah. is this is this hip hop music not good enough? This chill music. Congratulations, Julius. Woo! Thank you guys. The Lisa Army, thank you so much. Thank you, chat. Thank you everyone for subbing. What's the favorite <laughs> thing to use while cooking? <laughs> I got I got Lady Julius over here dancing and celebrating. Wait, don't play the music too loud or we'll get copyrighted. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. But you but you could still listen to it and dance. <laughs> Put it in the AirPods. Okay, I think my heat's turned down a little bit. So how crispy do you like your spam? Lisa. I like either way. Medium, yeah. medium is pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna turn up my heat just a little bit so it gets them ground up a little bit more. Thank you guys for subbing to Julius. You Thank guys you guys are awesome. so much. You guys rock. Okay. It smells so good. I know. Just like eating spam is just like, I don't know. I, I, I also like it when I cook it. You have the fat or the fat pieces, and then you have the crispy edges where it's cut a little bit thin. Yeah. So I love, I love all the different pieces. I like just tossing it into soupy ramen. It's the best. Yeah. Don't Actually, I learned from a friend. Um, you can start uh, with a little oil and spam, or just boiling water and throw the spam in there, and some of the like the spam juices and come out and flavor the spam or flavor the soup. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, are you Asian? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Thanks for that question. Uh, how did we meet? Uh, it was actually on Clubhouse. Like yeah, Clubhouse, Clubhouse has, I am so thankful for Clubhouse. I've met so many amazing people through there. Yes. But we have virtually met through Clubhouse and we will be meeting each other next month and then in September as well to do a bunch of foodie adventures with some other foodies. And we are so excited. I mean, I'm excited. Very I don't know excited. about Julius. Oh yeah, I am super excited to meet you, Janelle, Philip and some of the other west coast creators very excited 
do, maybe we'll do a spicy challenge. We're, no, we are doing a spicy challenge together. Oh, we're so. going to do something good. What uh, spicy um, challenge do you guys think we should do, by the way? Yeah. Name Let's a certain cuisine. This. Maybe we could do some spicy wings. I, I've always wanted to try Hal and Ray. So if you, I don't know if you've heard of them before, Lisa. Yes, Hal and I Ray's. have. Yeah. Okay, so are we taking the spam off the heat now? Uh, is yours Ray? I don't know. Yeah, as it's it's your preferred doneness. So oh, if okay. you're happy with it, the edges, yeah, just put it in a different pan, add a little bit of oil, and then we can start with the onions uh, okay. over like medium. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it out when you take yours out. I'm gonna take mine out now. Okay. You. S okay. We'll put it in a yeah, plate. I'm just gonna put it in a different pan. I'm sorry, different plate. Okay. Sorry guys, I have this echo that's really <laughs> affecting me. You can't even tell. You're doing great. Yeah. Okay. It's only me. It's like I'm censoring myself. <laughs> All right, so um, if you need a spicy. little oil, you can add some more. But if you have enough, don't worry about it. Have you done the spicy, the nitro gummy challenge? No, what is that? It's a little tiny gummy bear that's 9 million school bill. What? Someone just suggested it. Wow. I mean, we could. You think Janelle's ready too? <laughs> <laughs> I can see her right now. Uh, I don't know if she's ready. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Well, you know what we should do? We should do something in August because it is my birthday. So that weekend you're going to, we're going to see each other. That is my birthday that Saturday. So maybe we could do like a mini challenge. And then when Philip comes in uh, September, we all meet again. We could do like the bigger challenge. You know? Yeah. I'm down. Cool. We'll just have to all ask. Right. We'll just have What's to ask that? Janelle. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so what do we add? Right now when your uh, pan, you don't want it too hot because we're gonna do your onions. So go ahead and put your onions in uh, and then get them a little translucent and then we'll throw in the garlic. So just depends on like how fast your onions cook, but you don't want to really like um, make them dark or anything like that. I hear your sizzle sizzle. It's good one. I have a, a couple pieces of the uh, green onions that ended up in here too, but it's all good. Oh yeah. Like this is a uh, cooking supposed to be fun, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Should I throw in the um, the? So I have these big stuff that I'm probably not going to cook this week because I'm going out of town. Should I just throw these in it? there too? Is this bad if I just throw this in there? This is the green Where onion stalks. No, throw them in there. Okay. Yeah, it won't hurt. Cool. <laughs> Now, something that I do like to do is I like to season as we go. So okay. I actually like to put a little salt and a little pepper, okay. in, um, which brings out some of the um, moisture from the onions. So okay. I'm just going to crack some uh, or whatever salt you have. So put a little salt, a little pepper, and just build the layers of flavor. Build the layers of flavor. T-shirt, yeah. merch, merch idea right there. Yes, building layers of flavor. Um, someone DM me that so we can remember. So Lisa, are you coming out with some merch? Yes. Oh, I'm just us. like, fi I'm finalizing it all right now, but yeah, oh, sweet. trying to. Very cool. Uh, something when I started out with my brand is I wanted to do merchandise, basically shirts, I wanted to do like a toy, like a like this panda with a spoon and fork. Mm -hmm. I wanted this to be like uh, like a kid robot toy. <laughs> so that's been in the works for like the last 10 years. So that's definitely, you know, that's going to be coming out eventually. I like that. Shallots or onions. You know what? If you have both, use both. What's the goal amount of subscribers? Um, Lisa needs to hit 5 million and I'm going to have to hit a million. So if you guys can, uh, make that happen, please do. <laughs> okay. 
You'll hit a million. I bet you yeah. will. Hopefully. Yeah, thanks, guys. So if you guys notice this logo right here, uh, this is the panda that I designed and has a spoon and fork. So in the Philippines, you eat with a spoon and fork. So that's what's in the eyes of the logo. I don't know if oh, everyone ever noticed that. I never noticed that until yeah. now. So yeah, spoon and fork. That yeah, originally scary. I wanted lightning bolts, but then I finally found an artist, I think from Taiwan, that had that. So I'm glad I didn't go that route. But uh, but yeah, spoon and fork had to represent the Philippines. You know, I noticed during uh, the stream that you did with um, Janelle, there was mm -hmm. a lot of people from the Philippines that yes. was uh, tuned in. Yes, yes, yes. Anyone from the Philippines in the audience today? Feel represent. What's your favorite Indian food? Um, I don't know. I I just I'm into all the curries. Uh, yeah, I don't have really. I love going to different. So in the U.S., they have like buffets that have like different um, selections of Indian food, and there's different regions also. So I don't know, Lisa. Do you have a favorite Indian food? Mm, it's pretty basic, but that's because I haven't tried that many like Indian dishes. So mm -hmm. it's butter chicken. Mm -hmm. I know that's like kind of Americanized, I think, but um, that's why I'm hoping to expand. You know, um, we should definitely go on a tour more. in LA because LA has so many different cultures and so many different types of food. So, I am, yeah, I do want to do that for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need someone to teach me how to cook Indian food as well so I can try to recreate it when I get home. So I want to reach out yeah. to some people in LA for to sure. see if they'd be willing to show me. We'll see. Yeah. And um, when you're ready, Lisa, when your onions are cooked down a little bit, you can add the garlic. Okay. You just let me know when you do yours, and then I'll, I'll put mine too. Yeah, I think the onions are good. They're pretty trans translucent. Yeah, they look good. All right. I'm going to add my garlic then. Lisa. Yes. I know you'd love to this, but um, I think you need to go on a tour of ramen in Tokyo. I would love that, actually. So I One have day. a uh, random story about that. Okay. What is it? Tell me this random story. Tell us this random story. Yeah. So you guys will be, I never, actually, I did blog about this, but I'll tell you guys anyway. So. I went to this place called Ivan Ramen, and Ivan Ramen, Ooh, the so uh, he was a, he he's had a been Netflix on Netflix, Netflix right? and what's that? Yeah, he was on Netflix. I, I saw the bit about him. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So Ivan Ramen opened up in Tokyo. So I actually took the train one day, and I went to Ivan Ramen. He wasn't there, but I met uh, one of his employees there, and he's like. Wow, you really love ramen because I had ordered like two bowls and then For he's yourself. like, would you like me to make you some smaller bowls as a sample? And we did them. He made me some garlic and chicken mazamen, which is kind of like a like brothless ramen. And then he was like, hey, do you want to go to the birthplace of ramen? I'm like, sure. So he's like, we got to go to back to my house and I got to change. So we're walking through the rain. He has an umbrella. Oh oh wait, I, he gave gosh. me his umbrella what? and he has a raincoat. And I just met this guy, right? He's probably, you know, he was probably early 20s, now yeah. a couple years older than him. And he was like, you know, we go inside. He's like, yeah, if my parents come inside, um, just let them know that I'm outside. And he was like, went outside for a smoke or something. So he's like, you can use my internet. So I'm just basically using his internet. And he's like, okay, let's get. Let's go. So he, he pays for a cab and we go like 20 minutes away and he takes me to like all these different styles of ramen. There's like a fish ramen with the onion and then went to a stir fry ramen and then we went to like two more types of ramen. 
By the last one, I was so full. I, I felt am, so bad. I am so um, jealous. Yeah. That you, and then after you got that, to experience that. Oh, yeah. After that, we jumped on a bus. He's like, hey, I'm going to meet my girlfriend or fiance. So we met her. We say hello. We say bye. And I never heard from him ever again. Just the hospitality. And I bet I kind of feel like you probably remembered that. You probably remembered that uh, that encounter, though, I bet. If you like ever brought it up to him. Like, yeah, I remember that oh, yeah. random. That's freaking awesome. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's you, that like would just, probably never happen again. Yeah, and it's just those experiences are like why travel is so important, right? You can, and in Japan, it's like so hospitable. Like, you can leave like your wallet and come back the next day and it's still there. It's crazy. Um, so. Next sim, you're asking, can you try making spam and subi? I will try making that sometime. Actually, when I went to Hawaii a couple. Was that just that was just last month? I bought a oh spam gosh. slicer. I know I bought a yeah. spam slicer, so yeah, I will make that sometime. I have the uh, spam it. molds up here, like back in my cabinets, but I have the like the acrylic one where you put the spam and you press down the rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got the onion and got the garlic. What's next? So next we're gonna add the rice. So basically as add as much rice as you would like or as your pan can hold. So I'm gonna go with two cups. I'm just gonna dump it in there. Hopefully it can, uh... And basically you just wanna kinda of push the rice into the garlic and onions and you just kinda of toss it around. And you might wanna turn up your heat just a little bit, but not too much. You don't need to burn the rice. So. Okay. And did you get the vegetables? They were optional, so I, we don't have to do them, but. Yes, I have frozen vegetables. Okay. Wait. How are you with eating vegetables? Do you like eating vegetables? Yeah, I love vegetables. Okay, awesome. Do you have any favorites that you like to cook? Mm, I like broccoli. Yeah. Asparagus. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tell us how you decided to do the ASMR snapping the asparagus. I, that was a, like a good video for you. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Golden Goalie? He's another food content creator. I don't. The only reason uh, he cooks like amazing Pakistani food and stuff, and uh -huh. uh, he just called and he's like, "We need a we need a, a asparagus ASMR." So that's why I created nice. it. Yeah. I feel like you could do that too with spam, like removing the uh, spam from the pan and then just yeah. like cutting it up. Yeah, anything can be really ASMR. Yeah. As long as you don't have like random screaming in the background or something. <laughs> have you ever thought about that ASMR, er, the microphone? What microphone? We have these like special ASMR microphones. Oh yeah, yeah. They have ones that have ears on it. Yeah, I listen. Oh, no, really? I listen to I listen to ASMR before I go to bed. Do you really? Yeah. That's so cool. Let me try check my focus to make sure I'm in focus here. How's it looking, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It it's funny. Good. The lighting on my uh, on the camera is so like. Yeah, compared, no. I turn well. I turn my brightness up because it's been always so dark. So that might be the reason as well. Yeah, let me let me do that. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. <laughs> and you know what? Let me change my white balance. Sorry guys, I'm like geeking out over here. Like different settings. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Ooh. Okay, I think that's the better color. Nope, same. Do you guys have any questions for Julius? Um, let us know in the chat. Ask questions. We want to answer them. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Hey, let's talk about you being in a meme. Not a meme, but a GIF. A GIF. A GIF <laughs> or GIF. 
GIF or GIF, whatever you say. I say GIF, so let's go with GIF. Okay. Yeah, GIF. so what do you want to know? <laughs> so, yeah, how did that happen? And people yeah, didn't so, even realize it, right? Yeah, I did until it was like, you know, it's usually when the movie pops up on TV, I would get text messages like, dude, we just saw you at USA <laughs> or TNT. So, um, yeah, so basically, many years ago, I was on the set of, of Too Fast, Too Furious. And we basically filmed in Miami for a couple of weeks. And they put me in the scene with Ludacris. So if you guys have an iPhone or if you even look it up in uh, Facebook and you type in Ludacris and you'll see this like Asian guy clapping. It's basically in Too Fast, Too Furious when Paul Walker jumps the bridge and then drifts into the crowd. And then this, the camera goes to Paul Walker. I'm sorry, goes to Ludacris. And Ludacris is like this. And there's a guy like clapping. I'm that guy clapping. <laughs> so. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. You're that so. close to all of them. Okay, sorry. What's after? What's next? I think my rice is sticking. I should probably oh, your the rice heat. is sticking? Yeah, turn down the heat a little bit. So after the rice um basically we're going to throw in the uh, mixed vegetables just a little bit in there as much you want okay. and basically the liquid from the um the um frozen vegetables is going to mix in with the rice so basically going to rip this open uh my birthday is august 14th so i'm actually going to be in la when lisa's going to be there so we're gonna party it up. Yeah, we are. And Lisa's birthday passed, uh, was it June? Yes. Okay. Did I meet Salbe? Not yet. That's a good question to ask. I feel like you've met everyone. <laughs> uh, someone just asked, well, if, okay, first of all, with Salt Bay, if I went to one of his restaurants, I'm sure that he would, if he was there, he, you could request that meat platter and he'd come out and cut it for you. So, uh, someone asked about spam with a bad reputation. You know what? I think it's like this. A lot of people have their opinions about food and misinformation, like MSG not being good. And, you know, I just really think it's just misinformation. If a lot of people like, you know, freak about spam, but until you try it, you really don't know if you're going to like it or not. And nine times out of 10, people always like it. So That's true. What's your heat at, um, Lisa? Just uh, below medium. Okay, cool. So you hear, hear a nice little sizzle? Yeah, but it's not like burning or anything. So Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah, so basically the... Uh, you know, the rice, the oil, the garlic onions, it's doing its thing. And now that you've incorporated the um, the vegetables. You'll have to try spam one of these days. Yeah, you should definitely try spam. I mean, I think everything's, well, not everything, but most things are worth trying. And if you don't like, you don't like it. But spam is, I add sp spam to so many, you can add it to so many different things, fried rice, yeah. ramen, mm -hmm. add to like an omelet, anything. Yeah. And now we can actually add the, um, the spam back in. Oh, okay. Here we go. Spam yeah. back in, guys. So spam is going back in. And basically Sweet. now you can smell the, the garlic, the onions. Ooh, and yes. the party is happening. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of space in your walk. I do. I'm like really happy about it. How, how long I have you had that walk? Uh, for a while. I got it because I was in Dallas like a few years ago with my family. Mm -hmm. And I was the only one who drove there. Everyone else flew. So I, they had to buy it for our 
like our Airbnb. Oh, nice. And so I had to take it home. I mean, I didn't have to take it home, but I took it home and kept it for myself. Oh, nice. And but I rarely use it, so here we are. Oh, well, there you go. Um, I think that's one thing I want to learn is to use the walk. I don't even own a walk anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a creator called Walkstar. She is, uh, I think she's Chinese, but she's yeah. from the UK. So she has the cool British accent. Um, and she's basically like, like she teaches how to, uh, how to cook in the walk over the uh, fire burner. So. She, is she outside when she does it? Like out in nature? Um, I don't, or I don't know. No, actually else. when oh, she okay. cooks, when she does her demos, she actually cooks like inside. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you want to get that walk like smoking, so you gotta have good ventilation, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I so now not. that it's combined, we're gonna add like one or two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. So this is just to give it color and flavor. Um, and I tell people just use what you have. Uh, if you guys want to use Kikoman, like whatever, I'm using this one here called Datu uh, Puti. This is a uh, soy sauce from the Philippines. I've never heard of that before. I yeah. will have to try that. Interesting. Yeah. So if you guys have ever tried this, uh, drop some fire emojis in the, in the chat. <laughs> you and your fire emojis. I just want to see some good engagement. Yeah. Go for it. And um, normally I just eyeball it. But uh, since we're doing a recipe, I'll just use a uh, spoon. Okay. Pakistan's Independence just, Day I... is August 14th. Oh, that's awesome. Have you tra tried uh, Pakistani food, Lisa? Um, I think I've had similar cuisines to it, but I don't think I've yeah. had authentic. Okay. Or I don't like to use the word. I, I haven't had like traditional. Traditional. Food. Yeah, Pakistani food. Yeah, look at those fire emojis. That's awesome. A lot of Filipinos. Have we ever in the used chat, right? coconut aminos stub for soy? Um, I have not, but I know people do. How about you, Lisa? Have I used what as the coconut aminos? I have not. Okay. Yeah, people use that to sub soy sauce. Actually, I don't oh, know. Oh, I didn't I don't know, know that. If I nice. haven't. Yeah, you could actually find that. Huh? We have some. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Just to show you guys. Uh, on the top shelf. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All the pain in it. Can you guys tell we have a lot, a lot of liquids? Yeah, I can I can hear <laughs> I can hear all the bottles. Oh here we go. Together. Right here. So this is is uh, garlic aminos. soy, Interesting. yeah, aminos, and it's uh, vegan, no MSG, low sodium. Nice. Uh, not as fun, but uh, <laughs> do your thing if you got to do your thing. What's your favorite series on Netflix? Ooh, I love the Chef's Table. Yes, I do too. I went to I. I have too many shows I watch to have a favorite, uh -huh. but I am looking forward to Witcher 2. They just released the teaser trailer for season two. What is it? Uh, Witcher. Okay. Season two. Nice. So I'm excited um, for that. Lisa, I have a question for you. Have you ever seen a restaurant on TV or Netflix that influenced you to travel there to eat there? Um. I don't think so because I live in Kansas, so it's not like most of these sh things shows are like most of these restaurants. No, I mean are like anywhere places, in the world, so. whether it be a different state or a different country. Not yet. I mean, there okay. actually. I mean, there are some, but I haven't like listed them down. But I remember. Right. A little bit about them, but um, Mike Chen, there's one that he visited, a few that he's visited that I've screenshotted. I'll nice. have to go back and look at them, but mm -hmm. yeah, I do get influenced pretty hard 
pretty easily. <laughs> well, I will tell you those shows where you travel to go, you know, find these like restaurants, like the best thing I ever ate and all these like food network shows that has definitely influenced my travels. Um, and I visited, uh, for one of my big birthdays, I went to Alinea, which is, uh, the episode for chef's table with, um, Alinea and, and chef, uh, Grant Atches. So definitely, Food, uh, media, TV has definitely influenced me. Nice. Okay, how long are we cooking this for? Um, basically now, like there's like s the soy's in here. It might be a little like soggy or wet, so you just want to cook it until it's incorporated. Oh, okay. And then, um, next, since we added the uh, the soy sauce, we, so what I like to do is this technique where I push the rice to one side and then we're going to make like an area where you drop some um, butter and we're going to scramble an egg on one side and we're going to like mix everything together. Okay. So basically Sounds you just want to make a little section that you can put some scrambled egg to get going. Gotcha. So I just kind of push it to one side. And you know, people do this differently. Some people like to cook the egg first. Some people like to cook the egg, um, you know, they like to put the scrambled egg and in the rice. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just like, you know, one pot meal. So yeah. I kind of just make that area. And, you know, your your heat should probably be like medium, medium, like less than medium. So that okay. way- Doesn't you know, burn. Yeah, it doesn't burn. Yeah. Um. Keisha, thank you so much for subscribing to Julius's channel. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, guys. Okay, we're dropping in two eggs. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so one. you want yes. to? Um, do you want to scramble it, or do you want to? Uh, do you do you want to put it in a pan or in a bowl and scramble them, or do you like to scramble it with chopsticks inside the pan? It's up to you. Uh, you tell me. It's up to you. Okay. Sure. Well, let's just do it for the sake of uh, consistency. Let's just put, scramble two eggs in a bowl. In a bowl, okay. Yeah. And obviously this can be cooked a lot faster. <laughs> we're just like Yeah, we're chatting and... at the same time, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. But yeah, this could be definitely done in, uh, especially if you have all the like ingredients prepped. This is going to be done in like, like less than 10 minutes. Sorry, if you guys hear something crash in the back, I just have a lot of stuff around the sink. Thank you for subbing Mama's Mini Kitchen. Do you guys ever have a celebrity crush? Thank you for <laughs> subbing, Jay. Um, I will actually talk about like a celebrity food crush. I don't know if I've ever said this out loud. No, uh -oh. are you gonna get in trouble? I don't know. <laughs> Lady Julius, Lady Julius is in the other room. She might, uh, she might put the smack down. Just joking. Uh, yeah, so mine would probably be, uh, Jada for, like, Jada. Celebrity Food Crush. How about you, Lisa? <laughs> um, I have some. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. Yeah, I have some. Awesome. Any that you I could share or not really? No. Okay, we won't we won't we won't put you in the spot. Um, What's that? What do you what do you put in your eggs? So I like to just put a little salt and pepper and maybe some like garlic powder. But I mean the flavor's gonna come through here, so it's really up to you if you want to. But uh, I'm okay. going to do a little little sprinkle of salt and pepper. Just for some flavor. Okay. What are you putting salt in pepper. yours? I'll do that. Okay, cool. Salt and pepper. Okay, cool. And I don't know if you watched my... Oh, yeah, you did watch. You were the first one to comment. So um, 
I like to do brown butter. Uh, so that's just basically olive oil and butter. And as it cooks down the proteins, it gives this like nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I usually do in my eggs, like my fried eggs. Um, so now what I do is I put like a tablespoon of butter and that basically um, makes sure that the, the egg doesn't stick to the pan. So I saw an episode of Top Chef and Emerald Lagasse was like, you know, the secret to the omelet not sticky and there's not only oil, but you gotta have some butter. So, okay. yeah, so put a little bit of butter in there. Let's have the butter. You guys can... Heart attack? Not really. Drop that butter emoji. <laughs> um, random for you, thank you for the super chat. It says Shiva dog shouting good luck in a makeup phone. That's awesome. Lisa. Okay. You know who you what your hair reminds me of? Oh gosh. Who? Um, did you ever watch uh, Mutants on Fox uh, where Jamie Chung's character Blink? I did not. Okay. That's the uh, that's what your hair do reminds me. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, Jamie and, Chung on, on mutants. Yeah, mutants. Yeah, okay. and I've met Jamie Chung here in Atlanta. Of course, she you follows did. me on this. Yeah. Why am I, I not met surprised? Her at a food event. Why am I not surprised? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome, by the way. She seems like an awesome person. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so are you ready to drop your eggs? Yes. Okay, cool. So just drop them in that area of where yeah. that open area. Awesome, good job. And then you basically okay. just want to just gently cook them a little bit in the in the area. And then you just in want the to area. stir vigorously throughout the rice throughout the rice. So after you do that a little bit, go ahead and add it in the rice. And what's gonna happen is some of that rice is gonna get coated with the egg and it's gonna get a little fluffy. Um, have you seen Uncle Roger? Yeah. And he's like egg fried rice videos? Yes. Dude, I haven't met him, but I want to meet him. You said cook. you have you have I you have, have not, or I have, have not. not. Oh, okay. I, I was gonna not. say, I was like, geez, Louise, no, 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 you've no, met no. everyone. Yeah, I yeah. If if I've met them, I usually post a photo. Sometimes I'm shy to ask, you know, I don't want to bother anyone's like, you know, privacy. But yeah, I have seen some people out, you know, out and about eating um, in like LA or in Atlanta. So. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna have to get you to come to Atlanta. Yeah. Apparently, all the celebrities are out there. So. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I want to, and it'd be cool um, to visit some restaurants and stuff out there. Oh yeah. I've only um, driven you know, through. Um, you know, we drove through here? George, like, yeah, so I haven't yeah. actually stopped. So maybe I'll actually, make a trip maybe yeah. later this year. If you're doing the road trip down to Florida, definitely stop through Atlanta. Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah, or if, when you're in Florida, let me know, because I'm in Florida once a month uh, in the okay. Orlando area. So. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. And I have some uh, photography clients uh, potentially in Miami coming up too, so that's going to be coming up. All right. It smells so, so good. Yeah, I know we've been like cooking it a little slow, but but pretty yeah. much, you know, just taste um, and salt to taste, salt and pepper to taste, and you can uh, garnish with the green onions, or if you want to mix green onions, you can do that as well. So you can kind of see the nice colors from the mixed vegetables. I see that you have some greens from the uh, what is that from peas and carrots? I do. Awesome. Yeah. We're taking a big bite because I don't know how to take spawns. <laughs> I need I to go to Charleston, in. South Carolina. What's in Charleston, yes. South Carolina? What kind of oh food does South Carolina know for? There's a lot of good like southern restaurants. Um, I Charleston has been a long time on my list. I haven't been yet. So 
Maybe that could be a place that we could have another meetup. Hmm. I'm down. I'm down for anywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm hmm Let's go. I think mine just needs a little bit more soy sauce, and I think I'm good. Cool. Yeah, I'm adding just a little salt and pepper. Um, and I like mine a little spicy, so I put a little cayenne pepper. Wow. So that's how I finish mine off. Yeah, so I'm going to actually... Where's my cayenne pepper? Um, and then also, on the plate, I like to put some um, Japanese uh, kogorashi, which is another pepper uh, spice blend. So if you guys can't tell from my videos, I do enjoy some spice. So this is uh, Trader Joe's. I just do the red pepper, uh, the cayenne. And then this right here is the Japanese uh, tokorashi. And this kind of has a uh, pepper blend and um, maybe some um, sesame seeds. This gives me Uncle Roger vibes. Thank you. Someone's asking, is Lisa, Lisa is Filipino? Uh, I am not, I'm Vietnamese. Did you ever get that before? Like, are you no. asking people like <laughs> But every, so like every time I go to the nail salon, not every time, yeah. but the last time I went, uh -huh. they were speaking Vietnamese and. Oh, they were talking. I was like, I can understand you guys. And then they're like, oh, they're like, you don't look Vietnamese. And I'm like, they what do I look were... like? They thought I was uh -huh. Korean. So it's kind of Oh funny. my gosh. That's funny. I love yeah. Korean food though. I do. I love, I love all, yeah, all Asian Do you guys food. have Korean barbecue where you're at? We do. I don't get it that often, but in Kansas okay. City, I do. So we have a really good Korean barbecue place here. So I'd love to take you. Yes. Okay, so how's yours looking? Ready to plate? I think it is. Okay. Wait, let me actually take, taste test it again. Taste test. I'm actually probably gonna put a little bit more butter. <laughs> no, I won't go for the butter. That's delicioso. Gotcha. Good. Yeah, and you really don't have to add too much because this, the, 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 the spam has a little spicy hit, so. Okay, we have here, I made homemade kimchi. I would really like to make more Korean home food. All right. Well, there's some channels out there. Um, something that I'm gonna top my rice with is uh, I went to this uh, block party just across the street. Uh -huh. And there's this uh, local company called Bite of Korea. And they uh, make uh, kimchi. So I bought oh, some kimchi. Nice. So shout out to bite of, bite of Korea. Really good kimchi. So we're plating, we're plating. Yes, yeah. we're plating. Yeah, I turned off the heat already, but um, okay. the rice will continue to like get crispy in the pan. So if you like crispy rice, that's another um, you know reason to leave it in the pan. So I'm just topping, or I'm just uh, plating my spam fried rice. Wasn't too hard, right? No, not at all. Do you cook fried rice uh, uh, at all or normally? Or? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what this do you think about after today's experience? Um, less intimidated, so I'll do this more. Yeah. And you can do it with any leftovers. If you have like leftover Korean barbecue, if you have leftover chicken, rotisserie chicken, you can saute the chicken with the garlic and onions, throw in the rice, and pretty much the same recipe. So, adding I some will green try that. onions. Yeah, I feel yeah, like you could try. It. You could like do any type of protein as well. Yep, any type of protein. It's a good way to kind of clear your pantry or your refrigerator. So, like if you're going out of town on a trip, um, you could like if you have any leftover meats, like chicken, steak. You can pretty much combine it all, um, again, with, with onions and garlic, build those flavors, and then throw in the rice, and uh, yeah, veggies, top it with your scallions. What are you looking over there? Um, I definitely have dirtied all my chopsticks. 
So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Um, and something I also I like to top is this chili onion crunch. This is uh, from Trader Joe's. Nice. But if you guys like any spice, definitely feel free to add uh, when you top your plate. I'll just have my plate here. And let's see. Sometimes uh, some sesame oil, hot spicy sesame oil is good too. So. I dropped the chopstick and I have <gasps> like run out of all of my chopsticks. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. I'm going to put, oh. Uh, actually is, wait, what happened to your chopsticks? I just dropped it. Oh my Ooh, gosh. All the others are dirty. Your plate looks all good. What's, what's on your plate? Does it? So I got this pan yeah, fried rice. I put green onions and some kimchi. Oh, nice. I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to put some kimchi on the side. Oh, wait. I should probably do this on camera. Good news. I have more chopsticks, guys. Yay. Okay. I don't know if that's too hot to... Well, I'll just put it here. You guys can see in the distance. Have we ever tried miniature cooking? I have never tried miniature cooking. Have you done that, Julius? No, what is miniature? Is that where you have the little miniature things that you cook? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like just type, just cooking anything like tiny. Nice. Miniature wise. And if you want, you can top this with a fried egg tomorrow morning for breakfast. Yes, because so I could. This is a, yeah, because you have a lot right here, so. Yeah, I, I'd say this is a good meal, good hearty meal. So yes. this is my plate, guys. I don't know, is it might be out of focus, but it might be too close, but that looks really good. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, I have some kimchi, um, have some green onions, of course a spam. And the colors look nice. So when you throw in the vegetables or the kimchi on the side, it makes it a nice presentation. This. Yeah. Okay. Ready for a taste test? You guys ready yes. for a taste test? And okay. I'm doing it Filipino style. And uh, wait, were you doing chopsticks? I was going to, but what's Filipino okay. style? No, no, no. Let's do chopsticks. I got my chopsticks. No, first. let's do let's do Filipino style. All right, let's do Filipino spoon and fork. But we're just going to do it with a spoon, and then we can okay. go into like the spoon and the fork. Here it is, guys. The beauty. Oh, let me. Awesome. Perfect. Lisa, you have okay. a big old plate. I do. That's I do, awesome. I do. Okay, cheers. Awesome. All right, cheers, guys. Oh, gosh, it's so hot. That is good stuff. Mm. I'm going to try the kimchi now. I have a comment here. True Pinoy's where, or use spoon and fork. Don't worry, Padre. I got my spoon and fork right here. I would eat this whole plate in privacy. How's your roommate? I haven't seen her today. Oh, she's good. Um, Is she going to indulge in no, some uh, surprise? I'm going to eat all this. She's out of town. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Any last questions before we head out? This is so good. I have to eat it in private. <laughs> Mm. Lisa, what would your spicy element be in this? What would you add to make yours spicy? Probably ch just chili flakes. Oh, sriracha. That's sriracha. actually really good. Right on. Yes, yeah, sriracha. I'm going to add... Where'd it go? Oh, just right here. Uh, this uh, chili onion crunch. So I'm going to add that. Is Thank you guys for your shout out. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing today. Uh, you guys made it happen. The Lisa Army, thousand plus. Thank you guys. Uh, drop a comment in my latest video and let me know what you want to see me cook next, or where you want me to see uh, me eat at. Also, Julius is on Instagram as well. Instagram and TikTok. Instagram and TikTok. So if you guys have those, follow. Him. All right. Yeah. Any last? Thank you for that. Okay, I think I think that's it. Julius, thank you so much for showing me how to make spam fried rice. My very first time making it. Now I, I want good. to make like steak fried rice and like chicken, oh my gosh. chicken fried rice. Do it. I would love to see some future videos with some fried rice. 
I am Maybe so we could excited. do a spicy fried rice challenge. I don't know. That's not a bad idea. I mean, let's do some ingredients. Maybe we could cook together when we go see in LA. When we see each other in LA. Yes, yes, yes. I think we should definitely do some cooking collaborations as well so. as like hitting up other places. So, Alrighty. Thank you again so much. Um, thank, thank you, Lisa. You Thanks. Thank you, for guys. Coming on. Thank you, Lisa Army. You guys rock. Lisa, <laughs> thank you everyone I'll see for you joining. in a couple of weeks. Is it really a couple of weeks? Holy smokes. Well, it's like a month. Okay. Because couple. Wait, it's a month. The 13th. Yeah, so tomorrow's the 14th. My birthday's in a month tomorrow. So we're definitely going to hang out in LA. I'm excited. All right. Bye, Thank guys. You. Bye, guys.